Evening, we are back with another question for CUET. Let's have a look at this question once. If the three corners of parallelogram are 1, 1, 4, 2, 1, 3, then what's the fourth one? Most of you, pause your screen and try to do it, would do this wrong. I'm telling you. What would you do? You will go ahead and make this 1.1 1 .1 here. Right? And then the fourth coordinate is 4.2. So you would have it here. Right? And the third coordinate is 1.3. So you will have it here. And what you would do is, believe me, you're going to join this. And since this is 2, you're just going to fetch this 2 upwards. And you're going to join this. And you will tell me that the coordinate is 4, 4. This is what you will do. This is not the right way to solve this question. Please write this down. How am I going to do this? We want to go ahead and understand how to solve these kind of questions. So, <clears throat> so one of the properties of parallelogram is that the diagonals of parallelogram intersect at midpoint. The diagonals intersect at midpoint. So if I were to have my x-axis coordinate, it would be x1 plus x2 by 2, which will be 1 plus 1. These are the two. This is this is 1, comma 1. This is 1, comma 3. This is 4, comma 2, right? So what we are going to do is, the coordinate of the x-axis will be x1 plus x2 by 2. So 1 plus 1 by 2 will give you 1. And the coordinate of y-axis is going to be y1 plus y2 by 2. So it will be 1 plus 3 by 2. So this will be 2. And now let's say that the coordinate of the fourth corner, let that be a and B. So what do we want to have? We want to have that when we have A plus 4 by 2, when we have this, what wherever this fourth uh, coordinate is, when we do this A plus 4 by 2, we want that this should be 1. So I will get my A as minus 2. And when I do B plus 2 by 2, I will get my B as 2. So which means that ideally, think about this, what I have done. And then I will ask you the same question uh, again. So just think about this. If I go ahead and I have my quad, you know, this is my 1. And if I take minus 2 comma 2 here, right? So this is something like this, right? This is like this, right? This is my parallelogram. These are my diagonals, right? And I said that diagonals, they intersect at midpoint, right? So the x-axis coordinate, these, this is my di diagonal, right? This is 1, 1 and 1, 3. So it's, it's average, it's midpoint was when I did 1 plus 1 by 2 and I got 1. And when I did 1 plus 3 by 2 and I got 2, right? So this, this is where it should be intersecting. So I just took this point as 1 and as 2. And now I found the average of this. So let this point be A, comma B. So we got that A plus this coordinate that I have is 4, comma 2. So I've got A plus 4 by 2. This was my equal to the midpoint, half uh, 1. And similarly, we got B plus 2 by 2, which we got as 2. So my B became 2 and A became minus 2. 
Now, the question that I have for you, and this is very important, what if, what if I wouldn't have my AB here? And what if, what if I would have decided that my AB lies somewhere here? I can do that. What if I would have thought that this is how my parallelogram will be? And my diagonals would be this with this and this with this. Then in that case, the midpoint of this two would be 1 plus 4 by 2, which is 5 by 2, 2.5. And this would have been 3 plus 2 by 2, 5 by 2, 2.5. So this point would have been 2.5, 2.5. In that case, I would have wanted that A plus B by 2 would have been 2.5. So I would have got that A, uh, 1 plus A would have been 5. So A would have been 4. And I would have got B plus 1 by 2 as 2.5. So I would have got my B also as 4. In that case, I would have got this as 4, 4. So ideally speaking, this is correct. This is also correct. Now, on very similar notice, I want you to check whether 4, 0 also is correct or not. Can I go ahead and can I have a parallelogram made like this? Again, check with same that join the diagonals, check the midpoint of one, try to find the next point and see if this comes as one of the point. So ideally, my answer is all A, B and C. Okay, so just by using this property, we are able to go one step behind the graphical diagram and we are able to prove that all the three answers are correct.